Hello viewer, we're doing a SnowRunner video today. I don't do many of those things because uh, the game's been around for a long time and uh, there's plenty of gameplay videos out there. There's not a lot of new information that comes to light. But uh, I recently had a friend of mine give me a little bit of a tip on backing up these trailers. I've had issues with uh, really any of the medium trailers because they've got their front axle, so you've got essentially a joint between the truck and the trailer, and then you've got the front wheels that are on their own turning axis, and then you've got the rear wheels, and it makes it really awkward to back one of these things up. Now, I know it's not impossible, there's some people that can do it, but for me, I always end up losing control of them. And of course, if you've got a load and you're trying to back this thing up, it doesn't take very long before you uh, you end up getting it kind of crossed up and uh, a lot of times you'll end up tipping the load. So it's a little bit of a nightmare. Uh, you can't get them very precisely into various areas. And uh, then a buddy of mine showed me a brilliant technique for backing these things up. So you start by uh, detaching the trailer. Then you pull up next to it. And you attach from your rear winch point, typically to a rear point on the trailer. And it doesn't have to be a uh, all that tight an attachment. Whoops. All right. Now by doing this, you won't normally uh, tip the trailer. You have a great deal of control over exactly where you're putting it. And the trailer's front wheels will actually follow pretty much wherever you need to. So if you need to stick, for instance, a generator trailer uh, into an opening that you can't normally get enough control to back it into, You can just sort of use this technique, stuff it in where you want it, detach it, and then the hitch is still available if, for instance, with generators, you need to, uh, to connect to it in order to uh, operate it again. Now, of course, hitching up to it is easy enough. Now, the other thing in particular about these longer trailers is that if you do need to turn around and cramp quarters, uh, they can be a real bother. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So let's say the cargo area is in a spot like this. You've got to pull into the cargo grid. You get your cargo loaded up and uh, maybe you don't have a lot of room behind you. So you need to kind of turn yourself around in a limited amount of space. What you can quite often do with that, because you've loaded the trailer up at this point, is you can do a, uh, like an extremely large multi-point turn. And that could turn into like a 20 or 30 point turn or something like that. The trailer will normally just follow you you can get a certain distance around. And then you can start backing yourself up. And if you back up too much, a lot of times what you'll end up doing is tipping your cargo off the trailer. Because especially on softer ground, you'll dig in with the front wheels. But if you just do this as a uh, very gradual thing, When you're pulling the front tires sideways across the ground towards you, there's a much lower chance that it's going to tip because it's got uh, almost 90 degrees of rotation on that front axle. So you can get yourself turned around even with a longer trailer in a much shorter amount of time as opposed to if we try and do that same operation. If you got a big amount of space, you're fine.
But now let's say you pull in here and you're going to try to do this a little bit more aggressively. So you load up your cargo, go to turn around. Back up. Oh, screw it. You're pulling the thing sideways. At this point, you're starting to tip your trailer over. And if you dump your cargo and you don't happen to have a crane available, that becomes a huge pain in the butt. So that was just a little technique that I thought was very interesting. It just unhook the trailer, go to the back of it, and pull the thing backwards until you've got yourself into a little bit better position. And the front wheels will kind of steer themselves. And then, of course, the other thing is just do like the, uh, the small multi-point turn. Turn a little bit, back up a bit. Until it starts to skid the, uh, the tires sideways. Turn a little bit more. Back up a little bit more. And it's a little slower to do this than getting super aggressive on it. But you'll very seldom dump your cargo trying to do this. And even when you're pulling it like this, because you're pulling it towards you, you'll have a little bit more control. Uh, so you probably won't have as much chance of dumping the cargo on your side. Anyways, interesting little technique that I was shown, and hopefully it's going to be of some help to uh, to you people that are still playing uh, SnowRunner out there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hope it was helpful.